CBS Radio Workshop, dedicated to man's imagination, the theater of the mind. Tonight, a musical play dedicated to both children and grown-ups, with music composed by Alex North, book and lyrics by Jeremy Gurry, and adapted for radio by Draper Lewis. The CBS Radio Workshop presents The Hither and Thither of Danny Dither. Every story must have a beginning. Ours began yesterday. Or was it tomorrow? Well, that's not important. What is important is that Danny Dither, celestial office boy for the heavenly department of faith, hope, and charity, was suddenly sent to Earth on a very special mission. It's now the morning after his departure, and there are three very worried ladies sitting behind three rather shabby desks. Three ladies named Faith, Oh, I'm sure Danny will bring back the report we need. Hope. But he only has a week. That's all the time Mr. Judkins gave us. And charity. He'll succeed. I just know he'll succeed. There must be so many people down on earth who know that the faith, hope, and charity department exists. Oh, I'm sure they know, my dear. <clears throat> and by way of reminder, shall we go? Why not? What can we lose? Who am I to disagree? After you, Faith. Ask yourself this question. Did you do some good today? Did you lend someone a helping hand? Did you give something away? And if by chance you didn't, if you simply closed your eyes, wake up and learn this lesson, it's a word unto the wise. Follow our example, you'll be happier, you'll see, by imitating what we do, faith, hope, and charity. Virtue won't hurt you, it's easy to be kind, easy to be generous, it's a joy you'll find. Look a bit around you, then try to help along, try to straighten out a mess, do right or wrong. And if you keep on trying, what a difference it will be. Just hit your wagon to three stars. Faith, hope, and charity. Virtue won't hurt you. It's easy to be kind. Easy to be generous. It's a joy you'll find. Don't think that we'll forget you if you start to mend your ways. Good deeds don't stay hidden long. And virtue. can't tell you how much better that makes me feel. Now I know that everything is going to be just fine. Oh, at least I think everything's going to be just fine. Maybe. Faith, you answer it. It's probably Mr. Judkins from the front office. Oh, that nasty little efficiency expert he's hired. If it wasn't for him, Danny would never have had to go down to earth in the first place. What does he mean, saying he's going to have our department eliminated? Lucifer L. Lucas, indeed. And how did he get into heaven in the first place? If you ask me... Oh, girl, shh. Faith, Hope, and Charity Department. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Good morning. This is Judkins. What sort of report has Dither sent up from Earth? Oh, we haven't heard from Danny so far, Mr. Judkins. But the boy's been down there a whole day. Oh, Mr. Judkins, you said we had a week. All right, I'll keep my word. If you can prove in six days that anybody believes there's such a thing as faith, hope, and charity, the department stays. <sighs> Otherwise, Mr. Lucas has my permission to liquidate it. Oh, by the way, I've also given Mr. Lucas permission to go down to Earth to make sure that Danny Dither doesn't get into any mischief. Oh, but Mr. Judkins, he'll do everything he can to stop Danny from getting the report we need. Mr. Judkins? Mr. Judkins? Virtue won't hurt you. It's easy to be kind, easy to be generous. Oh, Hope, be quiet. Girls, we've got to get in touch with Danny and see what's happening. But what if he isn't wearing the intercommunicating earmuffs we gave him? We told him to keep them on all the time. Faith, uh, you try first. Call him. See if he answers. All right, I'll try. Danny! Danny Dither! 
This is Faith calling. Can you hear me? He must be so confused because we made him forget everything about his life up here. He doesn't even know his name. He's probably gone to a ball game. And who can hear anything at a ball game? Try again. Try again, Faith. Danny! Danny Dither! This is Faith calling. Danny, can you hear me? Can you hear me? someone calling me. Plain as day. Danny. Danny Dither. Excuse me, sir. Is my name Danny? Oh, you can't prove that by me, son. My name must be Danny. What do you want? Wait, I'll look. Yes, I have a notebook in my inside pocket. What shall I do with it? Sure, that's easy. All I've got to do is wander around and write down beautiful deeds in this notebook. Faith, hope, and charity sort of deeds. What? Money? What do I need it for? Oh, well, where do I get it? Okay. Will someone please give me some money? <laughs> now, there's a new approach if I ever heard one. You better try that story on someone else there, son. Gee, maybe this won't be so easy after all. be someone in this whole big city who can help me. Hello, Danny. Hello. Who are you? You, uh, <clears throat> you don't know me. My name is Lucas. Lucifer L. Lucas. I don't think I've ever seen you before, but... I'm not sure. <laughs> what a pity. Who knows, we might have met as recently as yesterday, but uh, what are you doing on Earth? I'm collecting beautiful deeds. I write them down in my notebook. No, who told you such nonsense? <laughs> no one does those things, Danny. Come along with me and have some fun. Forget about looking for beautiful deeds. No, I don't want to. Well, at least let me get a little money for you. All you have to do is ask for it. Isn't that right? Why, sure. Just watch this. Okay, mister. This is a gun. Get your hands up. <coughs> I, I beg your pardon. Let's have your wallet fast. Hand it to the kid. Oh, uh, don't think you can get away with this. I will, but maybe the kid won't. I hope. Now get out of here. 
Okay, Danny. You got some money now, and here's the gun to go with it. See you in jail. In jail, Danny. Man, oh, man, did you see that operation? Kid, you're okay. My name's the Duke, and this is Droopy. Now, if we can be of some service... 310? 15? My name is Danny. 25? $325. Is that enough to buy something to eat? Did you get that, Droopy? 325 federal diplomas, and he wants to know if he can buy something to eat. 325 smackaroos. If I was dough like that, I could buy myself a season pass to the pictures. Or sideburns like Elvis Presley. Or half the East River. Or a new tune for Nick's hand organ. Hey, Nick, you want a new tune for your gizmo? Maybe a little rock and roll. Hey, Nick don't look so good. Hey, Nick, anything wrong? No, no, there's nothing wrong. Much. Why so sad, Nick? Where's the monkey? What's a happen to the monk? What's a happen? He's a very sad story. Like this. Pietro, Cristofero, Fiorello, Giuseppe was the name of my monkey, but for short I call him Bep. His coat had bigger buttons and his tail was very long. He sat upon the organ while I play all my song. He tip his hat, he make a bow, he look very fine. He jump on the organ when you give him a dime. He climb up, he climb down, he make a funny scene. I no like him to scratch himself, I try to wash him clean. He make a much noise, he run away, he shake all his feet. But pretty soon he come back when he a wanna to eat. But now he won't come back no more to walk around the town. He go to monkey heaven. And he won't climb a down. I hope uh, when he tip uh, his hat, they don't think it's a wrong. And maybe all of the time he is a much better song. Nick, I'm sorry to hear that. But if you need some money for a new monk, Danny here is lots. He's got 325 bucks. Who has 325 bucks? Daisy, what you doing sneaking up on a guy like that? Hey, Duke, look, it's Daisy. Well, come on over here and meet our new pal, gal. His name is Danny, and he's a real go-getter. Danny, shake hands with Daisy. What are you guys doing with this kid? I've never seen him around before. No... Kid, it... it... Is that a real gun? Hey, Danny, show the roll you just heisted. Hey, now, wait a minute. What's going on around here? There, there, that's him. The boy with the, the red earmuffs. He, he was one of them. He has my money. Hello, O'Shaughnessy. What's new? I uh, suppose you tell me, Daisy. This man says the kid stuck him up. Says he has a gun. What do you say, kid? I don't know what you mean by stuck him up. And here's the gun and money if you want them. The other man gave them to me. What other man? I saw him. He had a handkerchief around his face. He did? Which way did he go? He went went that that way. Mm, Come on, mister. Oh, that was close. Look, Danny, that's no way to get money. It's dishonest. You almost got us all into trouble. And we've got enough trouble as it is. I don't understand. Who do you mean by we? All of us. The Duke, Droopy... You know, it gets you down being a city brat sometimes. But even city brats can dream. Sure, we can dream a little sometimes. Sing this little tune when you look for you. And all the springtime will come dancing to me soon. But don't forget the song without it things are 
that down in my notebook. I'm looking for a young boy named Danny. What's the matter, mister? We hear he doesn't know who his father and mother are, where he comes from, or where he lives, and that's a case for the immigration authorities. But, Danny, you must know where you came from or where you live. No. No, I don't. And that's right this way, young man. The chief of the Immigration Bureau wants to speak to you. Well, here we go again. City brats, right this way. Let's follow Danny and see if we can help. The ship sails in five minutes, sir. The captain wants to know if you're going to send anyone this trip. Nope, not an alien to deport. With your permission, sir, I have an undesirable to report. This is Danny Dither. No identification, no parents. He refuses to tell anyone where he comes from. A guard, uh, tell the captain to hold the boat. I have one passenger for him. Half fair. Oh, yes, sir, but you'd better send him down before the last whistle blows. Droopy, the last whistle. We've got to do something quick. What can we do? How can we stop it? Will you kids please stop whispering? I can't hear a thing this man is saying. Now, uh, Mr... Uh, Lucas, Chief. Lucifer L. Lucas. Droopy, that's it. He can't hear a thing. We've got to make sure that he doesn't hear that final whistle. Follow me? We're all with you, Daisy. <laughs> Before I go to sleep A taxi makes a noise And it's beep, beep, beep Every morning before I cross the street A cop makes a sound And it's tweet, tweet, tweet Near the tracks, walk with care There are things we mustn't do Stop and look and listen When the train goes woo-woo Ferry boats, peanut men You hear them every day All have their own sounds And this is what they say the man with the flute. Tootie toot toot. The owl's hoot. Hoot hoot. The cop on the beat. Beep 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 beep. The taxi on the street. Beep 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 beep. The boat's in dock. Hoot hoot. It's five o'clock. Toot toot toot. Chief, you didn't hear the final whistle yet, did you? It's too late, Chief. They've pulled the gangplank. The last whistle blew two minutes ago. Daisy, it worked. We did it. Danny, come on. We better get out of here while we can't. Danny, this is no time to be writing things in your notebook. I'll be right there, Daisy, but this is important. 
Now I have a really good deed to report to Faith, Hope, and Charity. It becomes increasingly apparent that I must somehow manage to lay my hands on Mr. Dither's little black notebook. <laughs> increasingly apparent. Come on, Danny, let's go! kids all went down to the dock to go swimming. Wouldn't you like a swim? What's that? Just follow me. I'll show you. I'm champion underwater swimmer of the whole east side. Well, come on. Danny, stop worrying about finding so many good deeds. You know what I always say. Take it easy, my friend. This is not the end. There's no point to worry in your hurry. Chin up, my chum, let the trouble come. There's no sense to weep in, you're keeping the joy away. The Lord must love the underdog, he made so many of them. He must have made them all just so that he could love them. He made the world with little folks that big shots like to frighten. But big shots aren't big enough when underdogs start. Try some smiling and see how right things can be. It's wrong to be crying. Hiya, Keep trying Hiya, and and you you swimming away. Away. Swimmer style. The water's just great, like a bathtub. So get moving, my friend. This is not the end. It's no time for weepers or jeepers, creepers. Open your peepers and keep your chin up, friend. Last one in to Lucibel Lucas. And there goes Daisy. Danny, watch this. She can swim underwater like a frogman. Daisy, don't. Where is she? Oh, she'll come popping up like a cork in just a minute. Where is she? She should have come up by now. Help! Someone help! I'm going after her! But, Danny, you said you didn't know how to swim. Duke, he's going down. He's drowning. Help! Help! Daisy! Daisy! Danny, are you all right? Where am I? What happened? You're back in the Faith, Hope, and Charity Department, remember? Danny. Oh, Danny, I'm so glad you're all right. Well, I'm waiting for the report, Faith, Hope, and Charity. Your seven days have unfortunately expired. Danny, the little black notebook. Give it to Mr. Judkins. The little black notebook? I... I'm afraid I lost it when I dove into the river. I demand that this department be eliminated at once as for our agreement. Danny, doesn't he look familiar to you? Daisy, I remember. I remember everything now. He's Lucifer L. Lucas. He was the man who had me arrested. And he took me to the Immigration Bureau. And he was down on the docks, and he stole your notebook when you dove into the river to save me. Mr. Judkins, are you going to stand there and let these children make such ridiculous accusations? Uh, well, Mr. Judkins, take your hands off me. I just wanted this notebook, Mr. Lucas. So it seems you were afraid of a few bits of kindness, a few paltry acts of hope and charity. Well, you're not much after all. Have you anything to say? Sure. What do I care for your kindness, your goodness, your ridiculous hope? I say it's a lot of nonsense. But, Mr. Judkins, aren't you going to stop him, a dangerous man like that? Charity, my dear, there's a very convenient hole in the clouds into which Mr. Lucas may tumble at any moment. Whoa! See? I think I owe you all an apology. We've been treating this department as though faith, hope, and charity were only ideas. But they're not. They make life livable. They bring happiness. And that's important. Very important. 
Do I make myself clear? Yes, yes sir. sir. We'll all get started right away, Mr. Judkins. Thank you, Faith. And you, too, Hope and Charity. And now, Danny and Daisy, I have a special job for you. Yes, sir? Anything you say. I'm sending you back to Earth because you can do more good there than here. And while you won't remember anything that happened, there'll always be something deep inside of you that will say, be kind, be thoughtful, be generous. Well, let's not waste any time. All of your friends will be looking for you. Right now, they're standing on the dock by the river, hoping and praying for your return. Goodbye, Danny, dear. You'll only need your earmuffs now in the wintertime. Goodbye, Danny. Goodbye, Daisy. And always remember what we taught you. Hurt you, won't hurt you. It's easy to be kind. Easy to be generous. It's a joy you find. Don't think that we'll forget you. If you start to mend your ways, good deeds don't stay hidden long. And virtue always pays. Goodbye, Danny. Daisy. Danny. Daisy. Danny. Now, all right, stand back. Just give him a little air. They're coming out of it now. Daisy, Danny, are you all right? Gee, you two certainly had us scared for a minute or so. Are you all right, Daisy? Yeah, I'm fine. Oh, Shauna, see, you pulled you both out. Thanks for saving us. I guess I've been in an awful lot of trouble to you. No, no real trouble, laddie. You and your gang just keep out of mischief, that's all. Uh, Daisy, I have a message for you from your mother. She says Danny is to come live at your house from now on. Oh, Danny! Gee, I don't know what to say. Hurt you, won't hurt you. It's easy to be kind. Easy to be generous. It's a joy you'll find. Don't think well, that we'll I guess maybe we'd all better be going home. Start to See you tomorrow, Billy. Sure thing, Daisy. Good so long, Danny. See you tomorrow. And virtue always hurt you. You have been listening to the Hither and Thither of Danny Dither, with music composed by Alex North, book and lyrics by Jeremy Gurry, and adapted for radio by Draper Lewis. The orchestra was under the direction of Charles Lichter, with vocal supervision by Michael Stewart. The CBS Radio Workshop is produced in New York by Paul Roberts. Bobby Alford appeared as Danny Dither, and Lynn Loring as Daisy. This is Gaylord Avery inviting you to join us again next week. When from Hollywood, the CBS Radio Workshop presents A Pride of Carrots, or Venus, Well Served. An unpublished original by Robert Nathan, the story of two earthly space travelers who visit the planet Venus. America listens most to the CBS Radio Network.